Hi everybody, so this is going to be my 38 slash 39 week update because I'm 38 weeks right now and I'm turning 39 on Sunday. My days changed for some reason. I don't know how that actually works out because I usually, I used to turn like switch weeks on Fridays and then Saturdays and now Sundays. So I don't know why that is. But, um, so I'm 38 weeks right now turning 39 on Sunday, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to make another video for next week so if I'm not then consider this your video for two weeks and also uh, kind of try to catch up on all the weeks that I missed it's so embarrassing I'm really sorry but if you guys were in my shoes then you'd understand where I'm coming from um, so I'm really sorry that I haven't made a video in such a long time but I'm making one right now so um, okay so baby is engaged which means her head is down and she's basically you know getting into position to come out and she's growing she has really big movements now and she responds to stimuli which basically means like if I rub her or touch her knee or something then she'll move around and yeah it's just very it's becoming a more real experience I guess um, it hurts a lot more when she moves now as well because there's life-size knees and jabs towards my body so definitely excited for her to come out because honestly I don't know how much longer I can take it without going crazy but alhamdulillah she's good she's healthy and I'm hoping that she decides to make an appearance soon um and also when I eat she moves around a lot so she responds to like stimuli um let's see what's been going on with me I've been super busy and that's one of the reasons why I haven't been making videos just because making a video is kind of a commitment because the editing and the recording and by the time the day is over and I really like I try to get around to making a video there's I'm just too tired <laughs> and I'm just not in a good mood I don't want you guys to see me when I'm like miserable you know but you do get miserable when you're pregnant so I guess it's an it's an honest experience that's all I can say you know um yeah just I haven't had time I've been kind of thrown back into school so it looks like the week I'm I'm going to be going to school on the 18th school starts on the 18th and she's due on the 24th so really really crazy and it's kind of a long story but I'm really confident that I can do it and we'll t I'll update you on that and how that's going um so far I'm either gonna take her with me or I'm going to um s like uh pump like pump breast milk and my husband will watch her during the days because he works overnight so it works out but that will cross that bridge when we get to it inshallah um let's see uh my brother is also staying with us now so my hijab keeps coming you know undone so annoying anyway um my brother is also staying with us right now so that's also kind of been a change in my life but it's good it's going really good so far so I'm really happy that he's staying with us and uh, yeah um let's see um lately I've just okay I'll do that after um for the pregnancy it's harder to move around there's a lot of pelvic pain sometimes I can't even move to get in and out of the car because my bones just hurt like my pelvic bones hurt um, I always have contractions like I've I'll, I've been at so many midwife appointments and she's feeling my stomach and she's like you know you're having a contraction right yeah I know <laughs> like I don't know what to tell you I'm not effaced not dilated um, I haven't had my membrane stripped because I think it's too I think it's too early I think I'll only get them stripped if I'm like way over my due date probably like 1 41 weeks or 42 weeks or something I hope I don't go that long but that's when I would consider getting them stripped because I don't know don't want to rush her out of there too too soon even though I have been trying like other ways to try to induce labor like walking and some acupressure that I found on uh, YouTube and stuff like that but none of it's been working um, so she'll just come out in her own sweet time um, but I have been having a lot of contractions and sometimes they're very painful to the point where I can't even speak through them but it hasn't been doing anything so I guess that's just my body's way of gearing up for labor um, let's see my brother um let's see mm, oh I've been also having a lot of heartburn it's also like very hard to sleep now and it's been hot it's not hot right now alhamdulillah but it's been hot we had like two or three days that were just really really hot like 38 degrees 
40 degrees at night and we don't have an air conditioner we just have a small tiny little fan and my hands and my feet would just get so 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 swollen like not funny not fun <laughs> um so that's been kind of impeding my sleep but other than that alhamdulillah it's a lot easier than the first trimester i must say it's a lot more physical discomfort but i'd much rather have this than all the nausea that i was having in the first trimester and the second trimester so definitely counting my blessings and protecting the miracle <laughs> um let's see my cravings have been oh she also gets hiccups a lot like she gets hiccups at least twice a day every single day and especially at night she gets hiccups and i don't know why i'll just see my belly just twitch and sometimes i feel them on different sides but usually she's really really low and i can feel them sometimes i feel them like in my back and my butt and that just means her head is like you know pressing that's why i can feel her hiccuping there um let's see my cravings have been they've been so you know how they're different every week if you've been following my blogs before you'll notice that my cravings were different every week and so i can't really remember them for the past like little couple weeks but this the past two weeks it's just been ice cream and ice and kool-aid and watermelon kind of but ice i've just been eating so much ice and drinking so much water so i don't know and that's a that's a a lot of pregnant people that i know actually eat a lot of ice um let's see yeah so my midwife appointment she felt the head midwife appointments have been going amazing she actually gave us a demonstration of how the baby is going to actually fit through your pelvic bones and i swear it just made my life just a, a load was lifted off my chest because i felt like okay at least i know what i'm getting into kind of thing because I'm like, okay, the baby can fit. So I'm not like panicking that she's not going to be able to fit. And she said that I have very good pelvic structure. I don't know how she can tell that. But she said I have very good pelvic structure. And she always tells me that she thinks I'm going to have a quick and easy birth. And she's very, very experienced. So I really trust her. And I hope she's right, inshallah. So um, let's see. But yeah, midwife is going amazing. I would never, ever do it any other way other than without a midwife. I hope I won't ever have to. And um yeah i've also i don't know if i mentioned this in another video but i am looking into becoming a midwife but probably not for a couple of years because right now i'm going to go back to school to study uh practical nursing inshallah so i want to do practical nursing first and then um maybe take a couple maybe a year or two off and then go back to school to become like an actual registered midwife so i'm really interested in that and i'll keep you updated with how that's going um i also let's see books that i'm reading okay i don't know where i put this book and it's from the library so i better figure it out where i put it but it's called orgasmic birth and i don't know if any of you guys have heard about orgasmic birth before but it's not as like weird as it sounds there is a documentary and <laughs> good for them you know but it's a little bit it's a little bit uncomfortable to watch documentary anyway for me but um it's uh it's a lot more you just if you read the book it's not all about having like an orgasmic birthing experience it's just ha about having a birth experience that's that's not traumatic you know and that's going to leave you feeling satisfied with um how it went for you regardless of whatever you choose but leaning towards leaning more towards the natural method um so that's a very good book to read if you can get a hold of it i rented it from the library so i know it's not that hard to get a hold of but orgasmic birth you can google it for the authors because i'm not sure what the authors are um let's see and this book i went to a la leche league i hope that's how you pronounce it um la leche league meeting i'll put the actual thing down here so you can see what i'm talking about but it's basically a breastfeeding group and kind of a support group for mothers so i went to my first meeting with them um uh, when was that a couple days ago maybe two days ago or yesterday and it was amazing experience i cannot believe the amount of support that there is for mothers and at first i was a little bit hesitant about going to it because i'm like um i i didn't know i didn't know what i wanted to know you know because i i've done a lot of research and you know i didn't know if there was if i was going to be uncomfortable or whatever but i decided i decided to go because i, I wanted help on and support on going back to school and being a new mom and like if any people have done that before and um, how they manage breastfeeding and going to school at the same time so I wanted like information on that and they really helped me so much and I um, 
so excited for the next meeting um, so I definitely definitely recommend that find a group in your area if you're pregnant or breastfeeding or even if you have a child go to the Lilleche League meetings because even if you don't end up going again you'll be happy that you went at least at one time just to see what it's about anyway so I uh, went to that meeting and I got this book it's called the womanly art of breastfeeding and there's actually the word La Leche League International so you can google them there's a, a website and this is the completely new revised edition but it's an amazing book so far as you can see like I've almost gotten through half of it I skipped a little bit of pages um but uh, you don't have to read all the way through anyway very very good book very informative and it, it really tells you how important breastfeeding is and I never really saw it as I saw it as important and I know it's an Islamic obligation we're obligated to breastfeed our children for two years so I knew that but um, I didn't know how actually beneficial breast milk was compared to everything else for um, breast milk was compared to formula for babies so I'm doing like a little bit more research on that and that book really really helps me a lot so I definitely definitely recommend it I cannot make enough videos or recommend it enough so just go out there and find it for yourself even if you just go on the website um, let's see so there's that there's I'm also reading I haven't read it yet but this one I'll let you know how that how this one is called mind over labor by Carl Jung so I have a lot of books going right now and I'm actually supposed to be like uh, studying for because I'm taking a math course and a chemistry course so I'm really bad at math really bad at chemistry so I really have to get on that as well so that's why I'm gonna be busy for the next couple weeks um I was gonna say for preparing for my home birth yes Alhamdulillah, I have reached my um, full term. My full term was two weeks ago almost now because I'm almost 39 weeks. So your full term at 37 weeks, which means that I can have a home birth. Alhamdulillah, so I'm so excited about that. So that is what we're planning. Um, so far, what I've gotten for it, I just got um, a good amount of towels, maybe like six or seven towels, washcloths, a hot water bottle. I'm looking in the drawer where all the stuff is right now excuse me a hot water bottle a whole bunch of receiving blankets um i i do have a hospital bag pack just in case anything happens and we do have to end up uh, transferring to the hospital and then i'm also going to get a little kitty size pool because you can rent birthing pools but they're like 200 dollars to rent and that's a lot of money so um and a kitty size pool will work but i'll let you know the dimensions for that when we get it and i'll i'll try to take a picture of it um and we did set up her crib so that's what we have going on right now um, I did have a baby shower and I don't know if I'm gonna get to post any of those pictures in the video but I'll try to see if I can um, I was gonna say what else was I gonna say um, I was gonna say that follow me on Twitter and I'll put my Twitter name here so you can see be and on Instagram because I post more updates there than I do making videos so if you are interested you know I post updates about little things that I'm learning when I'm reading the books I put and when I'm going into labor hopefully I'll be able to post you know what's going on with that and just other little tips that I would love to include in my videos but I just don't have time to make it into a full YouTube video so it's definitely like you know if you're interested in what I'm talking about then follow me on Twitter and sometimes I just post random things um and on Instagram and I'll put that information in the video as well and it's also easier for me to post stuff there and answer questions and stuff because I have my phone on me all the time whereas I'm not always on the computer um let's see um, I'm really excited for my birth and my baby and just to see how breastfeeding is gonna go and I'm pretty confident I'm not really nervous so much about labor and everybody always asks me oh my gosh I can't believe you're not nervous but I'm not I feel like I know a good amount and I'm pretty prepared even though I know you can never be prepared for the real thing but I'm feeling pretty confident and so I hope that feeling carries on <laughs> um yeah so that's basically what's going on um, I also on my blog I'm gonna try to post some information that I think is too you know TMI to put in videos but I think it's really beneficial for moms to know and so just things that I've been going through that I don't really want that I wouldn't be comfortable you know with making a video of but I think it's beneficial knowledge so I'll put that on my blog I don't know maybe 
maybe by the end of this week or next week or something but i'm gonna try to do that um yeah so definitely check out my blog uh follow me on twitter and follow me on instagram and um yeah i'm gonna try to make a, ne a video next week but you know cut me some slack so uh, I also wanted to thank you guys for your support and I know a lot of people have been waiting for this video for a really long time and I'm really sorry to keep you guys waiting and I do like I respect your support and I don't want you to think that I don't you know I don't care about you guys or whatever but I really do and thank you so much I've gotten so many emails and uh, messages on YouTube people asking me how I'm doing if I haven't had the baby yet no I'm still pregnant <sighs> hold on let's see if I can put it down a little bit my belly is really, I don't know if I'm going to get to do a belly shot because it's really hard for me to move, so. Well, my belly is definitely a lot bigger than it was before. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you can see how big my belly is. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to thank everybody again for all your support and um, all the information and all the other YouTube people out there who have helped me. Thank you so much for posting your videos and letting us into your lives and, uh, let's see what else did I want to say yeah so I'm sorry I haven't made a video in so long but hopefully I can try to keep up with it if not then you know that's just the way it <laughs> that's just the way it goes but um yeah so I guess I'll see you guys next week hopefully for my next update and uh, yeah don't hesitate to like you know add me on Twitter because I really answer that more than anything else okay uh, I think that's it so I will see you guys next week inshallah Assalamu alaikum